this is a battery and this is exactly how much power it's got left. And I can see this thanks to this little thing, which is called a battery monitor. This is a budget friendly monitor from Ansel and sends battery data to your Android or iPhone remotely via Bluetooth. I got this for £29 uh, from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description just in case you want to get one for yourself. In this video, we're going to take a look at what you get in the box, what it can do, how to install it, and how to set it up and use the mobile app. This is one of the coolest little budget Bluetooth monitors out there. It can be installed in a car, a truck, an RV, a boat, literally anything that has a lead acid or lithium battery from six volts up to 20 volts. I'll show you what comes in the box. It's really just this little Bluetooth monitor, this little self-adhesive pad, plus some instructions. For such a cheap little thing, this thing seems to really pack a lot of features. The manual shows that it provides voltage, power, uh, cranking tests, charging tests, and more but we do need to get that app installed for remote monitoring and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So the first thing we're going to do is take it outside and get it installed in the car. It's really simple and all you would need is a spanner, a socket to loosen your battery clamps, just enough to insert the connectors from the battery monitor. First of all, clean the top of the battery where you're going to place the monitor. A nice clean surface will ensure the adhesive tab gives a firm connection. Make sure you put the red lead uh, to the battery live terminal and the black lead to the negative terminal and then tighten them back up nice and securely. You can use this little adhesive tab to fix the battery monitor to the battery for a secure installation. Plus one of the nice features of the battery monitor is that it also measures the temperature of your battery. Once it's on, and connect it up, you can see the blue light flashing indicating the battery monitor is now all installed and ready to be connected to the app. Okay, so now that we've got the BM200 installed on the battery, we need to go ahead and install the app. Uh, this is available on Android uh, and iPhone. I'm doing it on an Android, so let's just head over to the Play Store. Once you're in the Play Store, you want to search for BM200 and then click on this one and click install. Once that's installed, go ahead and click open. And then we've just got to go through enabling a few services. So first one, just click on agree. And then click yes to authorize and then allow. And then you need to turn on Bluetooth so that we can connect to the BM200 unit itself and then log into your account. So if you click on that, it'll give you a few options. First of all, just click on the bottom there where you agree to their terms and conditions. You can create an account as guest or through Google or through WeChat. I'm just gonna click on email. And then what you wanna do, you wanna go ahead and enter your email address up here. And then you click on the send button and that's gonna send you a code which is valid for 15 minutes and you can come back here enter the code and away we go. So I'll go ahead and do that off screen. Then once you've uh, hit that code, that's gonna log into the screen. You now gotta add your device. So that means to add your BM200 so you can register it to this app. So just click on add device. And then that's going to give you a number of options. So you need to put the serial number into the device. Now you can either enter that manually or you can scan it with a little scan icon there on the right. So you can see that on the BM200 unit itself, there's a serial number just on the side there. So we'll go ahead and scan that. So if I just click on the little scanning icon there on the top right, it's going to open up a permission to take video. So just click on allow, and then you can see the scanner there. So if we now just pick up our device and go, there we go. It's got the serial number, and then that's added it. And then just click on next. And then there's a few bits and pieces that you can fill in. So there's the device name. So we just click on that. I'm just going to put my car because that's where it's going now you can put some fuel consumption rates in so 25 miles per gallon and then you can put the uh, price so we just put 150 in there the app has a fuel uh, car tracking and uh, mileage function which we'll explore a bit later uh, to see what that does and then you need to decide um, or define which battery type you, you've got either lithium or lead acid, mine is lead acid, so we just click on OK.
That's going to ask you to turn Bluetooth on. So we do that. Now it's going to give it a few seconds and it should connect. There we go. There's a message. We've got lots of notifications. Just clear those off. There we are. So it's currently showing my battery as uh, low charge. I've got 61% charge. You can see there it says state of charge, voltage 12.3 volts, and it's also measuring the temperature, uh, the contact temperature on the battery. And that's showing that as 10 degrees. And there's a little chart down the bottom there. You can see that showing you the time of day and uh, voltage. I believe this uh, maintains data for a 30 day period. Now we can do a crank test and a charging test. So let's go ahead and hit cranking test. So I guess I just need to start the car. So let's do that. Okay, so there we go, the car started. So the start time uh, was 3.1 seconds. Start voltage was 10.38 volts. And you can see there's a little range and mines just towards the lower end uh, of the normal range. So that's good. So if I just go back to the home screen now, and now you can look at the state of charge and it shows uh, that the battery is charging and the charging voltage is 14.38 volts. So the car's not been started for about a week. So I guess that's why the charge uh, level had gone down. So now let's have a look at charging test. So if I just click on that. So there's an idle uh, charging voltage, high speed charging. So start testing at the bottom. So click on that. So it then gives you some instructions. So the vehicle keeps idling. Turn on all electrical equipment, uh, such as air con, heated screen, and light, lights, etc. So I'll just go, and go ahead and do that in the background. You won't be able to see that, but I'm going to turn on as many electrical things as I can and then click on test. So that's going to start the test in a few seconds. There's a countdown going now. So second step, turn off all the electrical equipment. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I've got to set the RPM to about two and a half thousand RPM. So let me do that and then click on test. So do that. So that's done. Next one, keep the vehicle idling. Turn off all electrical equipment and click test until the end of the test. So let's do that again. That's all done. So here's the results. Idle charge voltage just above the normal range there, which is great. And then high speed charging again in the standard range towards the upper end at 14.4 volt and diode riffle rated rating uh, is down at five millivolts and again is within the normal range so that's just a very quick installation guide i'm going to use this uh, app for a few days maybe a couple of weeks and then i'll come back and do another update video to show you how i've been getting on with it all i hope that video was helpful if it was please consider subscribing and maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video take care everybody